It's Wednesday, campers. It's hump day. The Federal Trade Commission sued Intel Corporation today looking to block pricing deals and other tactics the government said the world's biggest chip maker is used to snuff out competition, deprived consumers of choice, and stifled innovation in the chip industry. Meanwhile, more than 100 million Europeans will get to pick a web browser after Microsoft agreed to offer Internet users a choice to avoid fresh fines, a move that could represent a real thawing of long-standing tensions between the software company and the European Union. Credit Suisse Group filed papers in federal court today agreeing to pay $536 million to settle a Justice Department probe and admit to violating U.S. economic sanctions by hiding the booming illegal business it was doing for Iranian banks. Prudential Financial said uh, today it expects the sale of its minority stake in Wachova Securities to Wells Fargo to produce $1.5 billion after tax gain. Wells Fargo said earlier this week that it would pay about $4.5 billion in cash for Prudential stake in the brokerage. Wall Street's reaction, here are the numbers. Amid the worst financial crisis in decades, shareholders have voiced frustration with how companies performed and executives are paid. Now, under new Securities and Exchange Commission rules adopted today, companies would be required to tell shareholders more about pay policies, board member qualifications, and why they chose a certain leadership structure. Wow! Accountability! And look out, travelers, more than a million people will face travel chaos over the Christmas and New Year's holiday as baggage handlers and check-in staff at Heathrow and Aberdeen airports announce strikes in tandem with work stoppages by British Airway cabin crews. For the Business Press, I'm Dave Kaufman. Join us again tomorrow for another Biz Minute.